All right, welcome to LearnWake. This is Brandon Judd responding today to a video analysis request, and this one's been uploaded by Jeb1974. And uh, this is on some toe side wake jumps. Um, thanks for uploading the video and for the description here. This helps me get in your head. Um, and uh, congratulations, by the way, on your heel side jumps. We, uh, for those of us, uh, for those of you just joining us now, uh, we did uh, heel side jump analysis about a week ago. And it uh, looks like the things that I suggested there have been helping you, which is really good. Uh, and then now this one on the toe side jumps, you're looking uh, for some help. These are about 60 feet with less than half ballast. You've practiced the two toe side drills and are having a hard time building a solid toe side edge. And a lot of speed is intimidating as well. I'd appreciate any pointers on my body position and edging. Uh, so let's get started. This looks really good. To be honest, when I first watched it, I had to do a double take and make sure I read the description right because this looks great. I mean, I didn't see m any problems with it really. And I took a closer look and I did notice one little issue as far as things I could give you suggestions on, but it's very minor. Uh, and the next thing would be where to go from here. Uh, and that would be my next su suggestion is uh, some things you can add to this. Uh, so let's start with the first thing. The first thing is your arms. Um, and this might be a bit of your discomfort showing itself. So uh, the reason that a lot of people will bring their arms in and pull the handle into them uh, is because they feel like they have more control over the handle when that happens, right? Like if, if the, there's an unexpected tug on the rope, you can let your arms out or, you know, something like that. So, um, I would relax your arms more during this and keep them just kind of in a comfortable middle position. I wouldn't advance on them and bring them in. Um, so what's happening is in the air, let's, it'd be easier just to watch it. So let's take a look at this. Um, so before we get into the other stuff, I do want to say that your edge in looks great. Your body position looks awesome. Everything's looking really nice. You're coming in nice and tall building a nice strong progressive edge, holding your edge all the way through the wake. Um, and uh, so that's great. So now let's focus on this arm thing and I'll explain why it's happening and how you can fix it. Uh, watch here, it's hard to tell, but watch here on the sides, those little like bumps on the side are your elbows. You can't really see here, but you'll watch that your elbows will start to stick out further and further from the side of your body, uh, which means that you're pulling the rope in closer to you. Um, so you'll see them there, they're starting to get a little wider, elbows a little wider, a little wider, all the way until about here is where they go in the most. So by advancing on the handle, what you're doing is creating this like slack rope in the middle of the trick. So right here, you see how the rope just droops a lot. You'll see it kind of um, lose tension and then catch back up toward the end. Um, a lot of people pull the handle in like that so that they don't have this risk of having a tight line pull them forward. Um, so that is kind of making it harder on yourself. You don't really need to do that, uh, but uh, I understand why. It's just kind of a discomfort thing. So what I want you to do to help build your overall comfort in that position is try and just relax your arms a little more and get your shoulders further back over the tail. That will give you more control over that, and you'll be in a safer position if your shoulders are a little bit further back against the rope over the tail and uh, you can relax your arms a bit more. Um, and that will keep the uh, control in the air to be a little bit more consistent. It won't, you won't have this big tension free window and then have it catch up all at the end. Um, so let's go back to this and I'll show you one other thing you can do to help with that. So um, because you're uncomfortable with that handle there um, and you're pulling it in, um, you, I'm okay with you landing with two hands. I don't want you to lose the ability to do that. You can keep landing with two hands, but I do want you to also try at the peak of the trick right around here is letting go with your back hand and then landing one-handed on your toe side. What this will do is this will help boost your confidence in feeling like maybe the, the line is too tight on you and the handle is going to get pulled away from you. When you let go with your back hand, you can extend this front arm. It gets your chest further over your toes, um, and it lets you get away with more mistakes that way. So this may help you feel more comfortable when you're landing, which may not 
force you to pull the handle in on the approach. So we need to just tone that handle pull, uh, tone that down at the approach. And if you can just do it by consciously thinking, don't pull in and relax my arms, then great. Uh, if you're having a hard time, then landing, you know, taking off two-handed, but landing one-handed might boost your confidence because it is an easier position to land in, in that one-handed position. So experiment with both of those and find out what will quiet those arms down because it'll make it really hard for you in the future, um, especially on this next suggestion. Uh, it'll make it hard for you to progress from here. So like if you were to do a heel, uh, sorry, a toe side front side 180 and land on your switch heel side, um, if you were to land on your switch heel side with a really slack rope, you would most likely fall back over your heels. Um, so by pulling in so much every time you come into the wake, you're going to encourage that problem if you were to take this to front side 180, for example. Um, which brings me to the next thing. Uh, let's talk about a toe side front side 180. So the first thing I want you to do is a toe side shifty. Um, I know we talked about those heel side shifties uh, where you turn the board front side and then come back and land your normal stance. So I want you to practice that, but I don't want you to really get front side early. I want you to save it for as long as you can. Um, so you should wait until right about here. Um, that's where you should be shifting, not right off the right off the wake. And then your shifty should be just about done by about here and you'll be back to your toe side edge. So it's just a quick, you know, show your toes to the boat kind of motion. Um, and if you can get that comfortable, then uh, you're probably ready for some, uh, heel, uh, sorry, toe side front side 180s. And you also want to practice uh, switch heel side edging away from the wakes for this one. So get switch, edge hard away from the wakes and get really comfortable edging on that edge. Do some switch ollies out here. Um, switch heel side ollies right around here and this is going to mimic the landing position that you'll be in for that 180. Uh, and then as your homework I want you to watch um, this drill untwisting a toe side front side 180 um, in our instructional section and this will walk you through what it's like to untwist into that switch heel side landing position. Um, and uh, it goes through a lot of things here. So that'll really help you out. Go watch that video. Another thing you can watch is this uh, toe side, front side 180 analyzing the clip, this video here. Uh, and this is really also helpful for a couple reasons and not just to say rush you past your straighter into a 180, but um, also to help you understand the approach and mimic the approach um, because this talks a lot about, in this one in particular, my approach to the wake. And you can mimic that, and you can watch my arms here since we're talking about the arm issue as well. Um, so you'll notice that I just kind of relax my arms, um, and then I stand tall through the wake, and my arms stay relaxed. And you'll see how I still haven't really untwisted anything yet. I'm still in my toe side edging position um, until about the peak of the jump. Uh, is where I start rotating. So this will walk you through everything, um, but this is a good example of a toe side jump to to emulate um, the standing tall at the wake. And then um, once you're comfortable with your toe side wake to wakes without that arm pole being there, then you can start untwisting that 180 and landing in a switch heel side landing position. Um, and uh, you'll be doing really good uh, once you've got all those things down and we'll be ready for some more tricks, maybe even some 360s and flips and stuff. So um, this should give you enough to work on for now. Uh, if you have any other questions, you can always add some comments down here in the comment section below and uh, we'll get cracking on it. So thanks again and uh, we'll see you around the site.